Sangha. Check it out. No, this is a war against natural immunity. This is a war against natural life. This is a war against the Irish This is a war against human life. This is a war against you and me. This is a war against the baby. We're going to win this. We are going to win this. Whatever it takes, we will not comply. Okay, and I want to start with the Nuremberg Code. And I'm actually going to read a little to it. And number one is the voluntary consent of the human subject is absolutely essential. And in that same paragraph, it says people have to be able to exercise free power of choice without the intervention of any element of force, fraud, deceit, duress, overreaching, or other ulterior form of constraint or, confu or, um, or coercion. In other words, everything that is happening now violates the most basic principles of law and ethics. We are living in an era of mass experimentation. These are experimental COVID shots. They are emergency use only. They are not proven safe or effective. We are now going to enroll children five to 11 in this mass experiment. They will have vaccine clinics in every school here in New York City, and they will allow verbal consent from parents. That is an outrage. 17,000 plus reported deaths to the vaccine adverse event reporting system. Over 800,000 reported injuries. To the Never again is now. That's what we said, and that's what we meant. And you and I both know medical atrocities are happening now. Doctors can't treat their patients the way they want to. People can't see their loved ones in the hospital even if their loved ones are dying. That to my mind is a medical atrocity. How these real medical interventions, real therapy that saves lives are being suppressed and that information is being censored. And that is a crime against humanity. 60 cities today in the United States and more around the world are part of worldwide walkout. Thank you for coming. We have all been in training for this moment for our entire lives. Every experience, every disappointment, every failure, every success, everything that has happened to each and every one of you standing here today has led us to this moment. And we are winning. And when human beings' babies are threatened, there is something that happens inside of our bodies that all of a sudden we find strength that we did not know we had. And they are coming for our children. Thank you, Senator Johnson, for giving the injured an opportunity to share their stories and to be heard. And what I heard yesterday disturbs me to a point that I literally was in tears at certain points. Hearing these people People who lost their children, the son, 18 year old son dropping dead on a basketball court after having the, the vaccine. People, let us not forget what happens when people gather together in community to stand for what they believe in, to stand together for in prayer. There is power when we gather as a group. So inconveniences are difficult, but living without freedom, living without bodily autonomy, watching our children be sacrificed for a pharmaceutical experiment to which we do not know what the outcome will be in the future is far more scary than living with some discomfort right now in this moment. And it is not just about my child, it is about all of your children also. We are one big freedom family and we are growing every single day. Courage is contagious, more contagious than any virus out there. Wherever you are, in New York City, in Long Island, in Westchester, all throughout this whole state, and tell them if the COVID vaccine is mandated for kids, 
your child is out of that school. Vex it. Because we wouldn't be coerced by their mandate. And God bless all of NYPD, FDNY, sanitation that's holding the line. God bless you. And God bless all of my fully vaccinated New York workers. We love you. We stand with you. So stand with us. This is not about a vaccine. This is about if you let the government tell you you have to inject a product that is not even one year old yet to keep your job, to buy a slice of pizza, what can't they tell us to do? What happens next? I'll tell you what happens next. In England, right now, there are nine schools where all the kids, to get their lunch, have to get facial recognition scans. If you want to apply for unemployment in New York State, you have to give up your biometric facial recognition data. If you don't give it up, they don't give you unemployment. When you hear the World Economic Forum, Klaus Schwab, talking about a new social contract, you will own nothing and be happy. Don't believe that hype. So now, let me tell you why I am so excited to be in New York today. Everywhere I go, I've been saying New York is going to be the epicenter of everything that changes in this country. Instead of looking deep inside into yourself and finding your own courage to stand up for your families, stand up for your children, stand up for your community, stand up for your soul, stand up for your body autonomy, stand up for informed consent. What are we going to do? 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 Everything you feel, all of our connection with each other, is about one single thing. I finally am figuring this out. At first when I started, I wasn't there. But this really is about love. If you love someone, you would find it deep in your heart to do the right thing. So when they see us come to these rallies, they say, oh, they just protesting. No, we showing love. We showing love for the world. We showing love for the universe. But I'm telling y'all something. If you show each other love, they can't win. I'm really, I, I, it's, it's really something. I said, I have to show compassion to the people that are living in fear and losing their hope and giving them the courage to know we have the right to stand up for ourselves. We have the right to be free. And we have the right to protect our children. Because if you think for one minute, I'm going to turn over my grandkids to those people, you must be out of your mind. If you give up your child, you give up your life. If you give up your child, you give up hope. If you give up your child, you'll be trapped in fear for the rest of your life. So when we mask them up with a mask of shame, when we tell them don't hug the other kids, when we tell them don't smile, we're destroying their godness in them. And I'm telling you right now, that is the hill that I'm going to die. I grew up in a community that loved me, that embraced me. I grew up with two parents that told me, you fight against just injustice anywhere and everywhere. And don't worry about being friends with everybody because guess what? God will give us all new friends. Oh, we all new friends. Oh, we all new friends. We love you. Do we love these kids? Now what I want you to do is I want y'all to hold hands. I want these kids to see this. See, this is what they don't want our kids to see. Now I want you to look at each other and say loudly, I love you. I love you. And close your eyes. I want, I want you to inhale God. There you go. I hear it. And exhale fear. Is it a, a life of slavery and bondage or a life of freedom and love? You know what? 
You know why? You know why? Because love wins. But how come we don't talk about this global coup? Because these war leaders, they are colluding. They are colluding. Okay? This is not a coincidence. This is not a coincidence. These war leaders, they have been meeting for decades in secret, discussing our lives and the plans that they have for us, and we don't know anything about it. Why? You want to know what happened if you, if you are an independent thinker? You are a threat to the establishment. You are a threat to this new world order that they're trying to establish. It doesn't matter if you're a Republican. It doesn't matter if you're a Democrat. I'm a registered Republican. And I can attest that both sides are working together to destroy us. And it's only us, the people, that can do something about it. You know, that Eric Adams, the puppet, the, he is the Blasio part two, and the Blasio passed the torch to him so that he can finish the job of destroying the greatest city in the world. You have to ask yourself, he's reading a script and who's feeding him the script? The people at the top. The people that pay them money. Because these people have decided that they are now dictators. We're not living in a free America. We're no longer in a free society. All right? The whole world is expecting for us to stand up. America needs to stand up. I don't care if you're in New York or not. You need to stand up for everyone, especially for the children. And I think that we need a new system because the system that was implemented was put up against us from the very beginning. We have the banking system that is a slavery system. All right? We have the school system that is an indoctrination camp system. We have mainstream media that is put there to take a hold of your mind and your perception. And they lie to you every day. After every crisis that we ever had, 9 11, et cetera. It always comes in with some new law, but the new law that's put in takes away our freedom and gives them more power. Isn't it about time that we start to think that perhaps this crisis are all orchestrated? It's madness, and it's not meant to make sense because it's all about power and control. It's a new type of slavery, but it's digital. Tracking and tracing you. They want to have our medical records to be um, digital. It's all, it's, all, it's all a scam. It's a scam. All right? The mask, masks are putting you to dehumanize you. Masks are putting you to keep you from speaking and connecting to one another. And as far as when it comes to children, the damage to some of these kids is going to be irreversible to children in order to learn empathy they need to be able to see facial expressions all right that's how much control they got over you that they're telling you that they own you so much that they don't won't even allow you to pray and you have to look at the symbolism of everything they're depriving you of life they're depriving you of communication they're depriving you of your smile they deprive of you of your own personal identity, which is our faces. I'm a college dropout. I'm a college dropout. But you know what I have that there's no, no, no man, woman, no institution can take away from me? It's called discernment. All right? Discernment. I don't need to have a college degree to call out bullshit. I don't need to have a college degree to know that the other society is a freaking liar. It needs to be it's been an amazing afternoon so many inspirational speakers so much energy from the crowd thank you so many great signs and a feeling of community and unity as we leave here remembering that we are all one connected in our humanness thank you thank you thank you josh coleman for these amazing billboards walking talking billboards of vaccine safety you're winning keep showing up keep standing up keep rising up being a defender of truth of freedom and of children's health we so appreciate everything that all of you are doing on the ground we could not do it without you stephanie lucretio coming from you from children's health defense cctv and i will see you soon on the streets take care bye-bye